Hello! <laughs> and once Hi. again, we're here in Sid Minus Civilization 5. Worst game known to man. Worst game known to man. Not as bad as Beyond Earth. Not as bad? Yeah, no, Beyond Earth was, was pretty bad. Disappointment, I'd say. I for, bet Beyond Earth. I bet there was so much hype around Beyond Earth, and I bet if there wasn't, I bet Beyond people would have liked Beyond Earth. Really. I like Beyond Earth, I do, but it's just. Some things are just really badly done in it. It's just, ah, uh, just, ugh. <laughs> but oh, like, like that time where I just like, you can like the military in that game is really good. Yeah. Much better. Like, in in the Rising Tides, you can the affinity. Like, it's a lot more diverse because in Beyond Earth, there's something called affinities, right? Yeah. These affinities, think of them like ideologies, right? I see. But you get affinity points for getting certain like research or building certain buildings, right? Mm -hmm. So there's harmony, purity, and supremacy. They're kind of self-explanatory. Harmony, you kind of have peace with the aliens, and it eventually will lead to you getting like alien troops and that. Oh crap. And like, yeah, supremacy. It's all about, um, it's like war, war and purity yeah. is all about hating the aliens, really. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and it's really cool because every time you get, every time you get a point in a, one of the affinities, you get bonuses to, to, to like to your troops. So I'm in a, a target, right? Yeah. And my submarine becomes like a mobile undersea debt platform that kills everything. And then, <laughs> And uh, doesn't and, sound very. But then harmony. you go play with. Then you you use someone else, and then they get something else that's better at like that. And then they'll get a boat that can go on land. Let's say, like if you go down okay. harmony instead, or you could get an alien boat. And uh, really cool feature. Game should just be better executed. I got Petra. Yeah. Uh, now, um, for uh, Europa. Pretty much uh, the AI in that game. I mean, if you look at the AI in this game and compare it to Europa's AI, it is a bit better. But in other circumstances, when it comes to peace treaties, that's the part that pisses me off the most because, you like, say this about, you say that the AI is good in this game. Have you ever tried dying? No, no, no. I'm not talking <laughs> that. Like, I'm just saying that if you compare AI in this game and the one in Europa, Europa's really good, but. When it comes to peace treaty, the AIs in Europa are really bad. Because it's not its not in this game where it's like, peace treaty, okay, I'll give you two gold a turn. Yeah. In Europa, you can do so much new shit. Like, you can, um, you have to, like, seed provinces and that, and you can all do all this crazy stuff. And when the AI do it, they'll, like, conquer an entire massive empire, and they'll only ask for, like, two provinces and some money for, like, and, like, 50 bucks. That's that's all they'll do. What, what do you think, what game do you think has the smartest AI you've ever seen? What of us? I think Alien Isolation. Alien, yeah. Uh, Alien Isolation is a really good AI. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. <laughs> not not because he doesn't hate the character. He just hates it. Hates it. Did the character explain why? The alien is just spooky, and and the way they reproduce. Well, the way they reproduce. It's pretty natural, actually. Think no, it's not. Though. Think about a shut baby. Up. Okay. Kill yourself. So no, you're... shut up. Okay, think about this. So, how does an alien have babies? So, if something gets put inside the um, a person, then some things get released. Then, after a little bit, uh, an alien comes out through ripping out of the chest. Now, let's look at humans. So, the man puts a thing in the woman <laughs> and releases the something. <laughs> right? So, that's pretty spot on. And then, how does the baby get everything? The woman, she literally, or she, rips open her vagina. Well, I mean, at least the woman, 99% of the time, doesn't die. They've done a successful alien abortion. Well, they did it in Prometheus. They aborted it. They, they did well, I mean, that's when they knew what to do. You just need to take a C-section. You need to take a C-section. Well, Mason, you, you, can have, you can have a C-section all you want. 
That's be I'm good. <laughs> you know, I'm all good. So you building any wonders? Yeah, I just built the match pe you. So uh, you you're not interested in the um chicken eat stuff, yeah? Toad, I don't think I have the tech for that. Okay, what the hell have you been doing? I, I'm I my science has been really bad. I, I, I don't know, because you're always like rushing techs, and I'm trying to get every single tech equally, which is really stupid. I don't know why I do that. Uh -huh. And not all my cities have libraries, so that's another thing. Well, shite. How much, uh, what's your science? 32. I got 37. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm not though. I I might be. Probably are. And also, the colonial system in Europa is amazing. I really like it. What do you mean by colonial? Like the way, because you can, because before you, it's not as easy as save as like, okay, I'm just gonna get this settler and kind of put him across the ocean. That's not how it works in Europa. First, you need to go for, you have, like, there are ideas in the game, and then these ideas allow you to get special shit, and then one of them is, like, uh, exploration, and you can get colonial, like, you can get colonists, and you can go for a quest for the new world in that. And then when you put a colonist down, first it takes a while for the colony to act, actually become a city. It's not instant, it's just, like, it actually has to wait a while, it has to have 1,000 people at least. Right. And then afterwards, when you have enough provinces in said colonial area, um, it will become a colony. So let's say I start colonizing Cuba, it will it, it will be uh, I don't know um, Portuguese Cuba, and then it will be its own little thing. Like you have no more control over it. It's it's right. its own empire. Yeah, I wish but, I wish Civ had better like colony systems. Yeah, because we have a puppet. That, like puppets are. Yeah, we have, yeah we have puppets, but you can't really you have to. Puppets are special. Yeah, I know in Europa, like, it's its own thing, but you still control it, and it'll, like, it'll eventually, after a while, it'll try to rebel and stuff, and, like, you can have, like, little American revolutions and stuff. It's really cool. You can do it. It's, it's, a, it's a great system. I like it. So, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Cool, cool that. <laughs> cool beans. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the... Maybe it's you'll be seeing pretty much the colonial Europa. system you wanted in Civ. Maybe you'll be yeah, maybe. Well, it, well, once I get my audio fixed, then I start playing it. Well, I know. I think I should play it. Well, well you don't have it. Buy it. Okay. Viewers want to see what they want to see. <laughs> maybe sure. I'll also do a playthrough of Paper Thieves. I'll do one too. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're playing. Yes. yes. Shut up. Just just because your audio works doesn't mean you have to rub it in. No, 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 I'm not trying to rub it in. I'm just. Okay. No, we just, we just need to fix, fix a few kinks in the system. Yes, with my. Especially with my audio, because it's Anthony crap. audio doesn't really record all of the films and shit. No. We need to somehow fix that. Ah, uh, I'm happy with you. But yeah, we're gonna... Why don't we give him a little sneak peek what we're planning to do here? Where are your more robot? With the, with the channel. Content. Wait, wait, what did you say? Gonna give a little sneak peek of what we want to do for content and such. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so he's a he's a special man. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I couldn't. I didn't hear you. Fucking Skype glitch. Up. Anyways, um, so we're probably both gonna do papers, please. I I definitely am. I want to try. I want to do a papers, yeah, please play through. Yeah. Yep. This guy really. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That happens. Yeah. And um, I'm also uh, also when uh, 
the Long Dark. The it's a it's a small little indie game. I don't know, but pretty much it's a er, like some crazy storm has happened and everyone's frozen dead. All everyone's just dead. You're in a, you spawn in this barren wasteland. And all of this is snow, and it's like a survival game. It's a sandbox. It's only sandbox. Uh, they're make the devs. They're making a a story for it, a campaign. And when they release that, I'm probably gonna play that on my channel on the, on this channel. So. Yeah, I'm going to be doing lots of simulator strategy games. Lots of them. They're the best. I'm going to do FTL, probably. I, uh, might, I might do a place Maybe a FTL. bit of Beyond Earth. I don't know, though. Um, Darkest Dungeons, Prison Architect, Kerbal, The Siege. Those type of games, really. I would probably do a Prison Architect as well. Yeah, um, Prison Architect is a great game. We're... Together we're gonna probably play maybe we're gonna maybe do some Ultimate General Gettysburg. Yeah. Uh, Space uh some Dead Rising. Space, Space Dead, Hawk. Dead Rising. We'll probably do some Dead Rising. Dead Rising Two. Yeah, Dead Rising Two. Um, it's it's still good. It's still good. Well, you'll see random one-offs where we try new games. Yep. I'm probably gonna do some. Uh, what's the the Hard West? I'm gonna do XCOM, Long War maybe as well. Right. Yeah, it, yeah. If you know what XCOM is, Hard West is pretty much the same thing, except in the uh, Wild West. So yeah. It's, it's as fun. hard as XCOM. It's pretty hard. <laughs> it's just it's the same thing though. Um, it's like once you have snipers, you're pretty much good because you can just do a scoped shot and it's like a guaranteed hit. I just keep my snipers like. Way back, like hitting too, behind some barrels. Apparently, it's like it teleport. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, but um, what else? What other? we maybe some plague ink. We were thinking of. Yeah, yeah, plague ink. Yeah. Multiplayer plague ink. And I'll tell. I might do some single player as well. Yeah, I pr I don't know if I'll do as much single player, but if if we will, then probably definitely some uh, some multiplayer. Mm -hmm. He actually only played it on his uh, phone. He played the mobile. Yeah, game. I, I got it. I got it before you on my on my phone, and it's it, I know pretty much everything that you got to do. It's, it's it's fun game. I, I've, I've but it's, it's, it's only really a pass. Game. Is it a lot harder? Is it a lot a lot any any harder? It's um a bit because there's there's a lot more diseases you can play. Virus. Well, you can play a lot more than bacteria and virus on the. Well, well yeah, so. I know, but there's a lot, well, there's more of the thing. And it, it's really hard. I haven't used it before. Um, but yeah, just, I'm open to new games, if anyone has any suggestions. It's just money is always a problem. Just please do not make it anything that is Don't torture. Don't request high performance games. Or games that are like ex super expensive because we're running off Steam. We're getting all our stuff from Steam, so yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, we're just gonna play general chill out. Um, Stanley Parable. I've already played. Oh yeah, you this, should do this fast. I, I could Parable. get Anthony to play. He's only seen a bit of it. Um, but yeah, I've only seen a bit of it. I've only seen a bit. Game dev type two maybe. Don't know. Really, at all. But we'll see. <laughs> can, can we just quickly bring up what no, just can. happened? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe we'll yeah. play some uh. What is it? Um, words, words, words. Town of Salem. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I might be doing some adventures. You could definitely play that. I like those. Good old adventure books. Oh yeah, we could definitely do adventure books. Um, yeah. Do maybe some reviews for some games. Even though I'm not proist really. Yep. Oh. But yeah. I'm trying to think what else I have. Um, yeah. that I could, yeah. Um. Just we're gonna kind of play what would feel like fun games. Interesting to yeah. watch. I might do smooth operators. Yeah. Oh god. 
when RimWorld comes out, I it's supposed to come out this year, but when it comes out, I'm definitely going to do a couple playthroughs on that. Um, maybe I'll do maybe some, we'll, we'll both probably do maybe some Telltale. Telltale. Uh, I've only got, I've only had their poker games. No, I mean like so. when newer ones come out. We well, when newer ones come out. We already played or seen the other ones. But yeah. there, there's like a Batman version coming up soon. Really? Yeah. Ooh, that, that's, that's interesting. I'd probably look at that. Yeah, um... What else? Oh yeah, that's about it. Again, open to suggestions. Anytime. Yep, definitely. Definitely gonna be playing a bit on Europa, always. That's one of my favorite games ever. I might I might do a playthrough on World at War, I don't know. Oh yeah, I might do some... See, I'm not really one for the first-person shooters. Neither am I, but, but I, I love zombies. It's so much fun. No, it's not that I'm bad at them. It's just they <laughs> don't really like them. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. I like some of them. Some of them are really fun. The other ones are really bad. You could play some um, Rage Quit games. Oh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna end that here. Yep. Yep. We'll see you guys next time. Bye -bye. Okay. Bye. -bye.